getting close to my finger. <laughs> so I'm gonna let you guys do this. Okay, I'm not gonna do all this. Alright. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. This is our first shipment of birds and the birds that we received today, we received five birds and they were uh, received from Langley Air Force Base. We're over here today essentially to give the birds an initial health examination. We're uh, seeing what condition they're in as far as condition of their feathers, body weight. All of the animals are being banded and they're being banded by a federal master bird bander from the Natural History Survey. And the birds are also receiving an injection of uh, basically a saline solution ringers injection just to kind of kind of give them a kickstart before we let them go to hydrate them almost kind of like a drink of Gatorade before the football game. 1309, subtract 93. Go ahead. Kill. Attitude. Attitude's good. This one's a little more. Nervous. Her system's good. Keel. Keel is a, same as the other one. It's, two. it's a two. These, these birds are, will all go to Anderson Lake and we have a hack structure or hacking tower constructed at Anderson Lake. These birds will be placed there um, probably in the next four to six weeks. The birds will fledge from the hack box and just prior to them fledging, we will attach radio transmitters to all of the birds. And it will be part of the researchers who are involved with this project, the field researchers, to basically track the birds to see what kind of habitat they're using during the day, things like that. Fantastic cooperative project. Um, as far as endangered species recovery goes, this is exactly the kind of thing you want to see. Primarily, we have graduate students through the University of Illinois Springfield who are working under the direction of Dr. Ting with the Environmental Studies Program. The two graduate students basically are being tasked when we leave here and the birds are put into the hack box. The students then will be tasked with checking the birds every day, feeding the birds every day, care and maintenance of the hack box, and when the transmitters get attached, they will obviously then be involved in the radio telemetry work.